Today we're going to talk about the difference between good and bad LDL. Now, normally someone is taught that LDL is the bad cholesterol, but that's not actually true. LDL is divided between two different parts. And just so you know, LDL stands for low density lipoprotein. It's not cholesterol. It's a type of protein that is carrying cholesterol through the body from the liver out to the tissues. HDL takes the cholesterol from the tissues and brings it back to the liver. So we are so brainwashed to think that LDL is the bad cholesterol, but they're not differentiating the specific types of LDL. It does take a special test to get this information, but I would highly recommend that you do it. I put a link down below for more information. So when you go to your doctor, you can ask for this specialized test. So here's the two types. SDLDL-P, this stands for a particle, and SD is small, dense, okay? So the LDL is a smaller, dense type, and this is the type that's the real bad one that can invade the arteries deep into the tissues and create all sorts of problems. This is the one that has the oxidized cholesterol, which will increase your risk of getting heart attack by four times. This is the type that you normally see with a diabetic because it comes from a high carb diet, but especially high amounts of fructose. Fructose will create more of this more than glucose. So also realize that sucrose, like table sugar, is like half fructose and half glucose. So a lot of the sugars contain fructose. And this type is called type B, just so you could actually differentiate. Now, when we get to LB, LDL slash P, which is particle right here, LB is large buoyant, the large fluffy type of LDL, okay? It's type A. You're gonna see this when someone does the ketogenic diet because it's a higher fat diet. When you're doing ketosis, when you're doing intermittent fasting, you're releasing a lot of fat and cholesterol from the fat cells. So you need these these LDL carriers to transport cholesterol in different places. But this type of LDL is benign. It's not the type that clogs up your arteries or creates damage, okay? This is the bad one. This is the good one. I suggest to do your own testing on this and you will see that if your LDL is high, it's gonna be over here. If you're doing the healthy version of keto and intermittent fasting, if you're doing carbs, you're gonna probably see more of this right here. The other thing to look at is the triglycerides. You want them low, and you're normally gonna see them low if you're doing keto and IF, which is a good indicator, because you're using triglycerides now for your energy source. Also, you want your HDL higher, and you normally see this when you're doing keto and IF. All right, so that's the summary. I try to keep it very, very simple. And I put an additional link down below for more information on this, but definitely get it checked. And if you're concerned about it, uh, you're gonna see that if your LDL is high, you're gonna see this one right here. You're gonna see this one is normal or on the low side. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.